wheels. Wheels, pretty important, aren't they? So I've got these uh, FX50 wheels. I've had them for quite some time. And now, it always seems like whenever I need to do something about my wheels, you know, talking about change tires, for example, I just end up buying wheels and tires. So these guys over here, they're in decent condition. Um, definitely wouldn't fetch top dollar because I've got a few blemishes, very few. Personally, I wouldn't care about them, but, you know, going a t somewhat different direction with that car than what I've done in the past. So I've got these wheels over here. I'm going to take them to get powder coated. And as part of that, might as well do this part myself, removing the two PMS sensors. Couldn't remember if it was 12 or 11, so it's not 11. Let's try 12. Yep. See that? So 12 milli it is. Which one needs some? There you go. So I'll remove that fully. I'll do that for all four wheels. Uh, then I'll also pop the cap. Let's push it from the bottom. It should come out. Right now, I'd probably hurt myself doing this without seeing what I'm doing. Or I'll flip them over and do it. So I don't know if the powder coat guy can do it on plastic. <laughs> probably wouldn't do anything with them. But as you can see here, I've had to bring this one here to the to the cabin. This other one doesn't fit either. These wheels are large. They're 21 by nine and a half. Yeah, I think it's nine and a half wide. There you go, 21 by nine and a half. So I'm gonna work on them and offset 50. They work decently on the M56, but they would be really, really tight on the M45. I've, I've done it before, I've checked. I did not mount any tires until I was certain where I was gonna use them. So this one is gonna go into the inside as well because I need to be able to close my trunk. Then this one's gonna go back in there, make my way to the powder coater. The guy says he needs about two days, quick turnaround, and he charges about 100 per wheel for standard colors. He told me the Nissan color, this one right here, uh, Sterling silver, I've forgotten what he called it. He said that's actually pretty expensive to do. Could cost about 175. So, yeah, that's where we are, I guess. Do we need that? I don't know if we need that. We're not gonna survive that powder coating process. <laughs> I doubt it. But as you can see, the original, I don't know, I can't remember how far the powder coat goes, but probably not that far. And I'm gonna ask him if it does anything in the back. Hopefully not, so that this part just remains all clean, the kind, you know, the mounting surface. Uh, otherwise, we should be good. This needs to get hammered. There you go. It's easy when you have gravity working with you, right? Okay. Well, that's it. Maybe the next time we'll have this out, it will be after the powder coater. And everything should be done then. All right. I don't know what all these numbers mean. The technicality, that's a part number, isn't it? 9WC21, I think that's a part number. I'll verify. But then this looks like the manufacturer date, 08 April. So these came from a 2009 FX50. Well, that's about as much as I know. I'll check the other wheels and compare.